Are you attracting the same types of people or situations repeatedly? This can be a sign that there are unresolved patterns or lessons in your life. From a spiritual perspective, breaking these cycles involves self-awareness, healing, and aligning with your higher vibrational energy. In this episode, we're going to talk about how you can recognize these patterns and provide spiritual strategies to attract healthier and more fulfilling relationships and experiences in your life. How to get off of this wheel of karma and stop looping. You are on a hamster wheel. This is what we call a groundhog's day. If you keep showing up and you keep attracting the same type of people, different story, different faces, but the same energy you are leaving one kind of city to move somewhere else but you get the same kind of energy that's following you because there are some unresolved issues that are happening here and how can we get you to stop looping and attracting the same kind of characters this is what we're going to talk about today hi my name is stacy i am an intuitive numerologist spiritual teacher and a mentor also an author because I did write a couple of books. <laughs> I am here to help you to develop your spirituality as well as your personal development. Think of this channel as a bridge between spirituality and personal development with a bit of numerology and some other astroterical things that's going to help you out on your journey at this time. So if that sounds fun for you, go ahead and give me a like and follow for more. The first thing you want to do is recognize and understand your patterns. The first step in breaking cycles is identifying the recurrent archetypes that are in your life and understand why they keep apparent. You want to reflect on past relationships and situations and identify the common themes. You can journal and you can write about it to see how you can uncover the underlying beliefs and patterns that you're attracting. Are you attracting the same kind of person that reminds you of your mother or your father? A lot of the times we do attract those kind of people that's because that's what gives us our programming in our earlier lives is our parental advisors. So a lot of the times you may attract friends without even knowing that remind you of your parental advisors. <laughs> I call them parental advisors. Your mom, your dad, you're going to find people that are similar to that. That's why they say, ooh, a man always marries someone that reminds them of their mother. Is that necessarily a good thing? It just is. But if it's something that you don't like, then I wouldn't say that's a good thing then. If you're trying to attract someone that's different from that, how can you like recognize that this is the same kind of pattern? If you're in a relationship with someone and maybe this one is always belittling you and you say, I don't want to be with this person anymore and you leave them without resolving the main core issue, the next person you're in a relationship, chances are going to turn out to be the same kind of person like that one before. You may not see it in the beginning, but as time goes on, the belittling would reoccur again. And that's because within you, you didn't value yourself in, enough to set boundaries and let it be known, this is not the way to speak to me. If you allow the belittling to happen, the universe will keep showing that to you in people and circumstances. The second thing you want to do is heal your past wounds. Unresolved emotional wounds often attract similar archetypes as part of their subconscious attempt to heal. So like I said in the, example, the first example, when you are encountering the same kind of people that remind you of people from your past, like a parent or an ex, or maybe even a job situation, if you have not resolved those issues and to see why it keeps occurring in your life, then you're going to keep attracting them. You have to heal those past wounds. Those are unresolved emotional wounds and then they're going to keep coming up for you and keep coming up for you until you learn how to recognize that. So what you want to do is recognize what is happening and practice some self-healing therapies. Try meditation, therapy, or energy healing, anything to address what is happening in your past trauma so that it does not keep reoccurring. You can't just slap a Band-Aid on it and think it'll go away. If it is something that keeps happening, you keep getting the same kind of people in your life, then you need to heal the main root cause of what is happening here. The third thing you want to do is raise your vibrational frequency. 
like attracts high like the higher your vibration the more you're going to attract positive experiences in your life the lower your vibrations the more you're going to attract negative experience and if you want to learn how to raise your vibration and get things to magnetize for you i have a video that you are going to like this episode right here i'm going to have it linked at the if it's not showing up right here then it's going to be linked at the end of this video it's going to show you how to raise your vibrational frequency and have people and circumstances more attracted to you and magnetized to you okay so you're going to want to check that out but let's talk about briefly of ways that you can raise your vibration you could practice activities that raise your vibration such, such as mindfulness gratitude spending time in nature and positive focusing focusing on the positive things and emotions and staying away from the negative things and emotions like that the third thing the fourth thing that you're going to want to do is set clear intentions and boundaries when you set clear intentions and have strong boundaries, you will attract relationships and situations that align with yourself. People will treat you the way you allow them to treat you. If you accept these certain kind of behaviors, then they will continue. If you accept people calling you past nine o'clock at night, they will continue to call you past nine o'clock at night with whatever issues they're having because they know that you'll be there to pick up the phone and listen. If this is something that you're accepting, you're going to keep to get it. You're going to keep getting it in your reality and you want to release that. You don't want to keep looping in that kind of thing where you keep attracting these people that don't respect your boundaries. So you must set a clear boundary with them and let them know this is not acceptable. This is not how I want to be treated. Please don't call my phone after this certain time. It is rude. It is whatever the words, but you need to set the clear boundaries. You need to set boundaries. Once you set boundaries, people will stop to stop that boundary. That they know this is something that is your red line that is not acceptable in your reality they will tend to not do it anymore and if they keep doing it naturally they're going to fall out of your life because this is something that you do not want to continue piling on this is still going to be a wound that is not healed if you're given your boundaries and it's not being accepted and you're just tolerating this person still in your life then this is going to be on you because you haven't healed it you must speak until your voice is heard and once you have spoken and your voice is heard the people you will attract and circumstances will start to change in your favor and you will stop attracting negative situations that you don't want to end people at the same time the fifth thing we're going to talk about is align with your authentic self attracting the same archetypes can indicate that you are not fully aligned with your true self if you're attracting a bunch of people that are always complaining about money and complain about their health and complain about the weather then you yourself are complaining along with them you are not living in your authentic self if you have to switch over your personality to be with certain people then you are not living in your true nature once you are aligned with your true authentic self and you're living in your true nature you will attract people that are resonating with that same truth of yours you will not attract people that are not on that same vibrational level with you. It's law. Your frequencies just won't align. It's like trying to turn on the radio station and you're trying to listen to jazz or, I don't know, reggae, but you're not getting that. You're getting country music instead. You're getting like electronical music instead. You're getting things that you did not ask for. It's not a vibrational frequency. It's not what you asked to tune into. So what are you tuning into? You must be your authentic self so you can attract people that are on that same vibrational authentic level. So you can manifest quickly and move into your desired reality. All right. Now, if this has helped you and you are interested in learning a bit more i do have an online membership that will help you guys with that it's online spiritual butterfly membership where you can learn a lot more spiritual topics i have over 100 content that i don't have on any other social media platform and this would be a way for you guys to learn grow and evolve i also do once a month group lives with this and i also do email correspondence and it has its own little private membership portal where you guys can interact with each other and talk with other and talk with me as well too but this is a spiritual journey to help you to align with your true authentic self the more people that i get in my little group i'll start to go in live twice a month and then maybe once a week as well but this is a if you want more alignment 
if you're on a spiritual journey and you want more answers and you seek more knowledge this is going to be the place for you stacy's spiritual butterfly membership i'm going to have it linked below otherwise i will see you guys next time and don't forget if you want to learn how to vibrate at a higher frequency and have things magnetized to you check out this video right here